Hey guys, Professor Bill, Comic Book University, and Champions, issue number 12. Now this right here, this is why I read comics. Actually, there's lots of reasons why I read comics, but Champions number 12, Mark Wade, Humberto Ramos. You know, I actually got the chance to meet Humberto Ramos at a fan expo recently. He was swamped, but I got to hear him talk a little bit and all that, and I didn't want to, like, harass him. He was doing commissions. Anyway, so, yeah, dude, like... Great work, great writing, great art. So we, this is a love letter to Cyclops, as uh, Sean Sandry would mention, uh, one of my subs. And we get to see a side of Scott that I've always known about him. I don't particularly recall ever seeing him. Uh, I don't know, I've read so many comics, but I don't remember there ever being a time where he talks about how he has to see everything in red. But it's something that I've thought about a lot, is this poor freaking guy, every single thing he sees is in red, because that's how he sees through his Ruby Quartz lens. And he doesn't even say it here, but they show it in three panels. And it's beautiful, beautifully frightening. Can you imagine seeing everything in red? You know, like, you'd get angry all the time. I know, everybody's thinking of the bull right now. No, that's not actually how they see. But the point is, yeah, like, it's just such an angry color you know what i'm saying it's so violent <laughs> so dude like that's how he sees all the time how could he possibly have a good idea of the future so i've always kind of felt for him in that regard some there are times i just don't like him but no like the young scott absolutely love this character love him and here we get to see a lot of what makes him him and if you didn't think that he belonged in the champions before you got to be able to think it now i mean by now really so this was a really good issue we had some psycho man action in here um i'm pretty sure they could have destroyed that suit I i'm just saying i'm pretty sure they could have just wiped away that suit as long as they didn't blow away the head because he's usually just operating the head uh you know in his little miniature form but eh, maybe he's doing something different now anyway Really good stuff. Genuinely enjoyed seeing this. It was a very good one-shot kind of issue. Next, we've got the Avengers Champions War. Um, yeah, sign me up. Sign me up. I'm down. Anyway, guys, I'm going to give this comic an A. This was a whole lot of fun for just one story that doesn't need anything else. And just coming off of Secret Empire, it's like he had this one sitting in his pocket. And you know, if we get an arc and then another one shot of a character and dealing with one character's troubles and life and all that, and then go back to another arc, I'm great with that for a champion series. Anyway, guys, Professor Bell, Comic Book University, class dismissed.